Hi, my name's Sophie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build some popular segments with Bird. Segments are dynamic. This means that as contacts are added to Bird and they match the criteria, they're automatically added to the segment. The same is true if existing contact profiles are updated and match the segment criteria. If the contact profile is updated and it no longer matches the segment criteria, it'll be automatically removed. This ensures your segments are always up to date and accurate. So the first segment that we're going to build today is churn risks. Let's head over to Audience, Lists and Segments, click Create New, and then Create Segment. We're going to title this Churn Risks. And now it's time to define our segment. So we're going to use something was or was not done. And then we're going to select from e-commerce events, order confirmed, zero times, in the last 30 days. As you can see, we have 905 contact profiles in this segment. Setting up a segment like this is a good way to identify churn risks. Once we're happy with it, we'll click Save Segment. Now, let's look at the other side of the coin. If on one side we have churn risks, you haven't made a purchase in the last 30 days, let's now find our loyal customers, those who have made a purchase in the last 30 days. Go to Create New, Create Segment, and give it a good name. Let's define this segment as well. So we're going to stick with something was done or not done. We're going to use the same e-commerce order confirmed event. We'll leave this as at least once, but change overall time to 30 days again. Now we can see that we have 19 contact profiles in this new loyal customer segment. Let's build another one. This time we're going to build a segment of customers who have abandoned carts in the last 30 days. So we've saved that segment. Let's go to create new, create segment. We'll name it abandoned checkouts. Down here, e-commerce events, checkout abandoned at least once. And then we'll set this up to be in the last 30 days. As you can see, we have 18 contact profiles in this segment. Let's save it and move on to the final one. Now let's build a segment for engaged subscribers. So for this one, we're going to see people who are engaged across all of our channels. So email, SMS, and WhatsApp. If they've engaged on one of those, they're going to be in this segment. Let me show you how to build it. Okay, so we've given it a name. Now let's set it up to include customers who have clicked or opened an email in the last 30 days. So here we're going to go email, email opened at least once in the last 30 days. Now I'm going to go and add the rest of the criteria. Note that I'm going to use OR so that it captures people who have opened or clicked an email or WhatsApp or an SMS message. So here we have our segments. We have our churn risks, our loyal customers, our abandoned checkouts, and our engaged customers. You can go back in and see how these are set up as well. 
As you can see here, I set up the definition to people who had opened an email, clicked a link in an email, clicked a reply to a WhatsApp, or clicked an SMS message at any time in the last 30 days. Now our segments are set up, we're ready to start using them in journeys and in campaigns.